New playlist update, HCS settings have finally been released, IGN says no Halo 6 in 2018, and we get a brand new announcement for the new loot crate coming for Halo. This is some more Halo news coming for you, so let's check it out. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news update for Halo. We got a bunch of stuff to unpack here because it's a brand new year. We have a lot of new settings coming in, new stuff being announced, so let's get right into the news here. So first of all, if you like these kind of news update videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let us know you want to see more content like this, and it greatly helps out the channel. Leave a comment down below where guys thoughts are on the news and if you're new to the channel and want to see some more content like this always tap the subscribe with the bell to let you know every time we're uploading awesomeness to this channel so let's get right into the news here so first part of the news here we have a new loot crate that has just been announced for the halo legendary loot crate it's a bi-monthly loot crate that you can buy i subscribe to it. it's about 35 of each box and it's pretty awesome you get a lot of cool stuff in it and it's called the let's get tactical box the description of it says the fight has come to earth so let's get tactical alongside Sergeant Johnson and the Arbiter and Guilty Spark as we return to the thrilling battles of Halo 2 and give the Covenant something to regret with the exclusive Halo Icons figure, t-shirt, and more. Order by February 15th by at 9pm Pacific Standard Time and you'll be able to get this. Now I recently did post up a loot box opening video. The most recent loot box just came out, so if you want to check that out, link it will be right there. Yes. So you can check that out later or click at the end of this video as well. The Halo World Championship settings have finally been released now from 343, so you get the official playlist. You can actually download these maps and playlists yourself. The uh, well, link will be in the description down below. Just, it'll take you right to the thread, and you can find the download link right in thin, within that page. The post outlines that 343 is taking community feedback on how the HCS should play out, and that it lists out what kind of game modes and maps are in each one. For example, Oddball will be only played on Truth, Plaza, Eden, and The Rig. Slayer will be on The Rig, Truth, Regret, Plaza, and Coliseum. Capture the Flag will be on Truth, Coliseum, and Fathom. Strongholds will be on The Rig, Plaza, Eden, and Empire. So all you teams trying to get out there and compete for the Halo World Championship Series that's going to be coming around here very soon for us. The first tournament starts on the 13th, so get your practice time in, especially with Oddball, because that's a new playlist, and they finally locked down the settings three days before the first tournament. So you got to do a lot of cram in there, guys, and hope you're, you, know, you do your best there. Also, on 343's website, a new post was just released about a playlist update coming to Halo 5, bringing you a brand new playlist that's never been in Halo 5. That playlist called Quick Play. The idea of this playlist is for brand new players to understand Halo and where a good starting point is, since many players who've just started out playing Halo may have not played it before, maybe don't understand what the different names of different playlists are, such as Slayer, Warzone, SWAT, and other maybe somewhat less obvious names for different game types. So that's why 343 created the Quick Play playlist. That is, like I said, it's mainly focused on introducing new players to the game. And the idea is that it will only have a select few, ma few maps, as in Plaza, Truth, and Coliseum. Saying, 343 stated that they don't want to overwhelm new players with a bunch of new maps and be very confused about what is where and everything. Get Understand a few select maps that are really cr cr crucial to the game and get these down. They've been also using the Slayer game type since they say that it's a much more straightforward game mode for both new and solo players. Now one thing I find very interesting about this playlist is that the playlist will also have a maximum party size of two. So if you're looking for some light Slayer gameplay with a chance to mentor incoming folks, then hop right in. Now to me, what I hear about this playlist, it sounds like this is a noob stomping ground right here for your montages and everything in between. Though, I think this would be a place that's going to be absolutely amazing for Halo. It's something that needs to happen because all of the Halo playlists are ranked in some way or another and allow full parties to get stomping on teams of randoms. This one maximizes the party of two out of four players on the team, which is great. Absolutely needed. It's always been my suggestion when it comes to matchmaking in Halo, so we'll see how the matchmaking works in this playlist. Also, 343 is currently working on a brand new skill system which could potentially kill your favorite smurfing account. So one thing they're taking into account with this new skill system is prediction of how many kills a player will get within a match. 
For example, we're here uh, in the post, it says kill predictions would be about 13.8, when actually, when they actually play the game, the stat comes up to about 14. That's rather accurate. Also stating, on average, in its current unfinished state, it's able to predict how many kills each player will have per minute within less than 0.4 kills. Continuing on, the post says that I'm, I am seeing up to a 10% in increase in how we will be able to predict winners of matches. Quite a big jump in improvement in your matchmaking skills, but I think it's a great improvement as well. Hopefully this will help le uh, level out the matchmaking because right now, basing it strictly off of wins and losses and your CSR rank is a little too broad of a matchmaking criteria right there for if you want to have true skill-based matchmaking. I am all for this, can't wait for it to be implemented into the game. And for me, an interesting fact shows the most popular playlist for the last seven days of Halo 5. And going from top, most populated to least populated, it's number one populated playlist is Super Fiesta. Can't blame them there, big fun, probably the most casual, most fun playlist that you can have in uh, Halo 5. Next is Slayer, Heroic, War Heroic Warzone Firefight, Warzone, Castle Wars, Big Team Battle, Infection, HCS Fall 2017, Action Sack, SWAT, Legendary Warzone Firefight, Team Arena Doubles, Warzone Turbo Fire, Free For All Breakout, sn Snipers, Mythic Warzone Firefight, Warzone Assault, and then finally rounding off with Griff Ball. Now all these stats for the most popular playlist has been based off of time played within that playlist. And lastly here, IGN reported saying that there may not be a Halo 6 in 2018, judging off of a 343 blog post by Grim Brother one The community manager was quoted saying, 2018 has arrived and with it, the promise of new fun times to be had and adventures to embark on. No, not those adventures, seemingly a reference to the mainline Halo games as in Halo 6, but plenty of exciting ones regardless, some of which might surprise you more than others. Now I feel like IGN might be kind of jumping the shark a little bit here, saying there will be no Halo 6 in 2018, though we've had no reference towards it, but we've seen multiple games change up their strategy when it comes to advertising their games like uh, Fallout 4 was not announced until the year of its release at E3, so they only had about six months to promote the game. So they might be changing up the strategy compared to Halo 5, where I believe the first announcement of Halo 5 was about two years before the actual release of the game. So I'd say wait until E3 when you can start making announcements saying that there will be no Halo 6 in 2018. I'm holding off my judgment. But anyways guys, that's the news going right now in Halo. A lot of stuff going on, a lot of you know minor stuff, but very crucial details that will help bring a better experience to the Halo franchise. I'm definitely looking forward to the quick play playlist. I will definitely be posting gameplay on that and give you my experience and review on that playlist. Very excited for that. Uh, hopefully you uh, HCS while tryhards can get a chance to get your strategies in for Oddball and all the other settings for the uh, place coming out because the first day of tryouts comes out on the 13th so get your working guys <laughs> and there will definitely be a loot box opening for the new halo loot crate that will be coming out for us guys here very shortly so anyways guys thank you so much for watching i know it's a long video about a lot of stuff going on if you like this video make sure to tap that like button leave a comment down below what you thought about the news in the video as well i do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well subscribe tap that bell as well to let you know every time i upload awesomeness to this channel check out the videos on the screen right now I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.